When I was modeling, women of all ages and young girls would come up to me after the fashion show and say, June, and who's your hairdresser? How do you wear your makeup? Which dress would be best for me? My mother said, Junie, I've heard of a charm school in London and there's one in New York. Why don't you start one here in Australia? Because I'm 25. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we have to be busy. We have to have something to do every day. If I didn't work, what would I do? You only live once, and you need as a human being to live it well, and to be the best you can be in every way. There was a very famous Australian, Ori Kelly, who was a fashion designer in Hollywood. He said, June, you're so successful as a model. Come on over to Hollywood. By this time, I'd met so many Hollywood movie stars, and they were so real. Like Gregory Peck was a charming gentleman. He wasn't a show-off, and Audrey Hepburn was just a lovely human being. And uh, Audrey Hepburn said, June, I won't be able to be for the breakup party of Roman Holiday. You please sit in my seat and represent me. But then when Greg suggested I stay in Los Angeles, I realized I, I really had to go back to Australia to my mother. My business was thriving. I had wonderful staff there. And I realized it, my mother had given up her life for me. An illegitimate child meant that my father deserted my mother. And therefore, I moved to live with my grandparents. Penguin Publishing, that worldwide publishing company, said to me, we'd like you to write a book about all the models in your early days of modeling. So I sat down and started to write about the other models. And I realized I had to write about myself. And I started to write a little bit about myself. And um, when Penguin Publishing saw my notes, they said, June, forget the other models. You just write a book about your life. And so I did. Uh, starting with my life as a little girl, living right out there in the country, and learning to milk cows. <laughs> and walking those two miles to a one-teacher bush school and back to my grandparents' property. See, there was one teacher, and one day I heard him say to my mother, you know, June is going to be a failure in life. And I was standing outside and I heard him say that. And he said, all she does is sit and look out the window all day and daydream. And that's what I want to say to young people now. Don't be all the time on their mobile phone. Sit, look out of the bus window. Sit and look out of the train window. Sit and think. And when they're walking across the street, look at other people and smile. And think and dream and imagine. 